Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add um, post-processing to your Gorilla Tag fan game. So, hold on. Let me enable all my maps really quick. I keep them disabled because of map loaders. That can be another tutorial. But, um, so, first, what you are going to want to do, um, so, <coughs> we're gonna create an empty, name this empty, um, volley post-processing, I mean, <laughs> and then go to package manager, go to unity registry and search up post-processing and then press install i already have it but then import it and then yeah yeah to post-processing say post-processing add a volume and then where it says volume profile click new what well, i already have one where it's it's actually pretty good you are which it's pretty good um post-processing also i think you do if you would like you can use urp if you don't have urp then i think it's fine i'm not really sure though but you should have seen that add override and then you've got all your things so i added bloom and then put it at like a 7.8 and then like a 0.9 is pretty good it gives a good blend with like they're not too bright but the stuff still glows so like look at computer um and then i have a glowy little shop so that looks really good with post processing as well so um if you want you can change the tint but i'm not gonna do that because this isn't a horror game um but you can add more overrides and you've got all these little effects I use vignette and I put it at like that intensity and then like make it gray so it's not that noticeable but it's still there you know so yeah um anyways it makes your buttons glow but I have all these other ones so I forgot to add this to the video, but under your main camera, check post-processing. 